Anyone can now be viewers. This is for, uh, I, mean, I know that I don't usually do things like this. This is for uh, people on the internet who need help with their Toyota security system and an older one. I have a 2001 Toyota Tacoma. Did I find, I found out, can my, I know mine had a security system. My dad told me it did. It's a double cab, silver Toyota Tacoma that is a limited V6. Now, most limited V6 do not come. I guess it's because it's limited. It came with the security thing. I don't know. I know it didn't come with it from the factory. What probably happened is that when it got to the dealership as a package deal, they threw in a security system to it. Because it's 2001. That was a while ago. It's 2020. Um, and I'll show you how I found it. Because I looked all over the internet and apparently it didn't exist. My truck having... A security system was not possible, but yeah, it was because it was a stock Toyota security system. And it was put in there very well, like it belonged there. So let me show you all what I did. Um, so I started out, I was like, where is the, I didn't have no idea where the security system uh, computer was. So I started out, I was like, well, the best way to find it is if I start from the beginning. So I knew there was this, to this Toyota security little thing. And I was like, if I track that through the wires, then we'll do it. So I tracked it all the way up here and all the way behind. And I found this puppy. This is the glass uh, sensor. I thought this was the computer, but I was wrong. I was like, this is the glass sensor thing. And I was, when your glass breaks, I was like, okay. I still need to zip tie that back on. But yeah, that, that is the glass breaker thing. Or like it senses vibration and stuff. And I was like, okay, I still had, there was a panel that we're right here, it's right here, this panel. And uh, I was like, and then, because I saw that this wire right here, which is the main wire I tracked, went all the way down to here. And I was like, all right, might as well pull that panel. I pulled the panel out. Lo and behold, I found it. This is what the security system looks like. This is what the security system for a stock Toyota looks like. It's this little thing right here. Now, here's what I did. Um, I, had a key, I had a Toyota, the original key fob, ready to go. My dad had given it to me. So, um, what I did, uh, first you want to make sure, it's, to make sure it's not broken, because mine wasn't working no matter what. So, so, there was a website I found a while ago, and it showed a picture of that security system. And it was for a 2005 Tacoma. I thought, I was, I was like, oh... Because it's 2005, I thought that was the computers of the car. No, it was this little mod, this little security module. So when I pulled this out, I was like, oh, dear God, that diagram wasn't the computers of the car. It was the security module computer, I guess. So I went back to that diagram and it said, um, I think I'll, I'll include the link in the description. It was great help. But when you find it, um, it gives you programming instructions. Because I'm not into the whole closing the door type thing. It's stupid. Um, you hold... There's a green button down. Let me show you where. Should be... Mine is... Right here. I hope you can... Hopefully you can see that right there. The green button. And you hold that green... I had to get a screwdriver. You hold that down for three seconds. Press the on and unlock button. I highly... Honestly... You could get a cheap key fob, but if you want things to go smoothly, listen, I'm not one of those guys to spend, makes you spend money. I like to save money. I can't, oh my goodness, I love to save money. Um, but I'm not the one guy that's going to say go spend money. I'm the guy that's going to tell you to save money. The best way you're going to get this to work is if you get a Toyota stock one. Um, look up what the original key fob for your car probably looks like. Mine, do I have it with me? Let me see if I have it with me. Hold on. Do I have a twist me? No, I don't. I have a fake one. This is one I bought. It was a ripoff from uh, Amazon. It was just a regular one. Don't do these. Like, these are very hard to program, and I wouldn't. Um, so, we had a... For my dad's old key fob, he had a Toyota one. And from the original car. So, I did it. And lo and behold, hold it down three seconds, press the unlock button. It worked like a dream the freaking security system works now. It is awesome. I finally have a key fob. I've been driving this for three years and I haven't had a key fob. Now I finally have a key fob and it's really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's just some car knowledge because I was, 
I was on the internet and apparently that doesn't exist. But yet it does. It does exist. The only place I was able to find it was on a Forerunner forum. Usually I don't make videos like this, but it needed to be made because no one else made it and I need to make it. So yes, your security system will be on your left side where you put your foot. Pull that panel out. If you have one, it'll be sitting there. It'll be gray or black from what I've seen. I even went to the Toyota dealership and I was like, guys, like, I even brought the freaking security system and I was like, I need y'all, y'all's help. And by the way, it wasn't broken. It was, it works perfectly fine. I, it was weird. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like it turned itself off. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, uh, I will catch up with you guys later. Or maybe, maybe a plug was loose. I don't know. I checked all the fuses and everything. Dude, um, here's the biggest thing that got me. Um, the reason I couldn't find it also because the manual didn't say anything about it. That's how you know the dealership put it in after the factory. But yeah, uh, that's just some knowledge. If y'all have any questions about the security system, um, I will do my best to answer it. That's pretty much, um, this is not a fix. This is where to find it and how it operates. This isn't an installation. This is where to find your security system and how it operates. But yeah, um, I will let y'all go and uh, thanks for listening yeah please uh like comment and subscribe uh i'm gonna be honest you can like and comment but there's not gonna be much car stuff like this but this is for everybody that needs to know it this is a help video because i i think other people need to know why i'm doing a service but all right thanks for listening see y'all later